So we'd have 3,000 staff here um, for an honour in the final, catering staff, security staff, stewards, uh, external agencies such as the Gardaí. Um, so they would work, work together as one team to, to, to pull off this, uh, this, this, this big event. Okay, well I suppose this, the two greatest challenges are getting people in and getting people out. So 82,300 people uh, for a single header fixture, trying to get all of those in on time. Uh, Turnstiles are open two and a half hours in advance. We have pre-match entertainment, trying to get people into the stadium, soak up the atmosphere. So as the, as the game is on, we're, we're doing our briefing and getting ready for getting people out of the stadium, 82,000 people out of the stadium uh, in a draw, uh, which is the worst possible scenario for us. Everybody leaves at the same time. We will have man lines, cordons with Gardaí and stewards on the roads, uh, making people um, go certain directions to take congestion off the, off the streets. Uh, Port Park obviously is in the, in the middle of a residential area, so to try and get people to go different directions can, can be quite the task. Uh, internally, it's a presentation. When you have a winning team, we need to have a man line cordon right around the pitch uh, to stop people from coming onto the pitch, protect the players and spectators. We haven't had a pitch invasion since 2010, so all going well, um, that, that, that continues for the foreseeable future. So this is the warm-up area, this is where the team comes together for the last couple of minutes, so generally what happens is very, very hushed, everyone gets into a circle, you get the manager who then say the final instructions and then it starts that whole crescendo adjustment, building guys right up to, to, to the point of going out to the pitch. Um, we're standing outside the door and everybody kind of knocking on, like, come on, come on, come on, time, time, cameras, and the guys are, no, no, we're going to finish this. Then you get the whoop, which is right, we're ready to go. And they're out there and you see this rattle of boots and everything else. And fellas are just so game-faced. It's fantastic. I mean, this, this has to be probably the most exciting part of you know, been in the tunnel before match. So the, the couple start on, on Saturday evening. It's it's part of the up for the match um, um, RTE program. So we'll be there in RTE studio. So when that's over, one of our stewards, Jerry Grogan, will pick up the cup. It's a specially designed box that is put into that goes into the boot of Jerry's car. Jerry takes it home. Then the following morning, Jerry takes it in here. So all eyes on Jerry. I won't tell you his address because you know what only happened. Um, and he's in then first thing in the morning. And we have a traditionally we have mass in the stadium, which is celebrated for all stewards who, you know, if he went back a number of years, wouldn't have opportunity to get mass because they're going to the stadium to, to work on the day. Um, so we maintain that tradition. So the cup is there. The cup is you know becomes part of the. The, the ceremony. Um, from then it goes back up to the RTE studio, so it's there from they're doing the opening credits for, for, for the match. And then we bring it back here to pitch side and it goes up the very, very front when the teams are running out so they can all get to see it. And then it's brought up here onto the pedestal. So you know everyone can see well what is what are people playing for. Come the end of the end of the play and if there's not a draw the either uh, the, the carry captain <laughs> or, or, or or the Galway captain will pick it up. And from then it'll go down and you're, we're just watching that it doesn't get um, too battered but it'll, you know do the tour of the pitch and all the fans will get to see it and from then it's it's hooshed into the bus and it's it'll make its way down either to air square or to killarney um and then for the for the big homecoming on on, on monday again assuming it's not a draw so the teams will keep that for the for the best part of a week it'll generally come back to ourselves then and then they'll bring it traditionally to, to schools and hospitals and various other places. So it takes a phenomenal bit of a journey um, around the country. Um, and as, a, as I say, it's something that everybody wants to be with and to see. And it's, it's just one of those, you know, without doubt, the most famous piece of silverware in the country.